Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Samani, if you are new. Um, today, I'm coming to you with a very, very exciting video, in my opinion at least. On Friday, June 26th, I'll be getting a puppy. My very own first, my first very own puppy. I did have a family dog growing up. Her name was Riley and she was a Maltese and she was my favorite thing in the whole world. Um, but this will be my own puppy that will be my own responsibility. So it'll be my own first dog and not the family dog. Um, technically it'll be ours, which will be me and my boyfriend Julian's dog, but only since he lives here with me, but I'm still responsible for her. So yeah, she's a red and white. She's kind of like a dark apricot um, and white. Cavapoo, and I'll insert a picture right here so you guys can see her. She's so cute. This is the most recent picture I got when she was seven weeks last week, and I'll be getting her when she is eight weeks years, eight weeks old. So around me, I have a bunch of stuff, and I just want to show you everything that I got. She's gonna be a little bit spoiled because um, I just been shopping for her for the past couple months. Um, ever since I knew I was gonna get her. So let's just get into everything and then I'll go into why I'm getting a dog at the end of the video. Okay, so this is the first item. I'm gonna insert a picture. It's called Granix Bitter Apple Spray and it should be here in the next couple of days. I ordered it like a couple weeks ago, um, but it still hasn't come, besides the point. But that spray is supposed to be um, helpful for her teething um she's gonna be wanting to bite everything so all you do is take this spray and you spray it on the things that you don't want her to bite or chew on and it's supposed to like deter her for want from wanting to do that because um it's, the puppies or the dogs they don't like the taste of the spray so i got that um just to put on the couch or the furniture or shoes or something um, it doesn't have a smell for humans, but dogs don't like the smell or the taste, so it's good for those type of things. So yes, got that. And then the next item, which I'm also putting right here, is her harness and leash, which is still on the way. Um, there was a delay because of um, coronavirus. I don't think we we're allowed to say that in YouTube, but because of the virus that was going around, um, there was a delay in shipping, so I'm still waiting to get her main harness and leash. I know I could have just went to the store and got one, but I wanted to get one from this specific store because it was super cute. The hardware is rose gold. Um, the leash is like a rosy pink color, and then it's like a harness, um, a wildflower harness. So it's really cute, and I really liked it, and I wanted that one, so that's why I got that one. And it's just taking forever to get here, but I think it landed in LA on Friday, finally. So I think it should be here sometime this week. So yeah, moving on to the stuff that I do have. Okay, the first item that I have here is the puppy pads. I just picked this up from Petco. They were on sale for like $20 for a pack of 100. This is what they look like. I got the ones with the tape on it so they don't move around on the floor. I'm going to be training her to pee outside on our fresh fresh patch, which is also on the way. Um, so yeah, the fresh patch I'm gonna put on the balcony and that's just a fresh patch of grass. Um, it's real grass, so she's gonna be trained to go on there until she has her all her vaccines and stuff. And I think she gets them at like 12 or 16 weeks. Um, she's She'll be done with them. And then while she's in the house, I'll put these down on the house if I need to leave her in her playpen or something, I have to leave the house or something and she has to pee. So, okay, the next item that I got is this little container bin and this is for her food to keep it fresh. Um, it has little rolly wheels on it and it's just airtight. So it opens up like this and I just put all the food in it. This is a, I think 32 ounce container. So I think it carries about 32 pounds of food so that's good I only have a bag of 15 right now so this will be what I put her dry food in if I want to continue using dry food but right now I'm just in child and air mode until I get her moving on from pets etc I went today and I got her a comb um it just looks like this it has like the wide end and the smaller end 
to get the knots and stuff out of her fur. And I got these poop bags, the earth rated ones. Um, I found this there from for $16 for 300 bags. And I saw this same one at Petco for $40. So I'm glad I got this one. But yeah, these are gonna be really good for when I take her on walks. I have her the earth rated um, poop bag holder. So I'll show you that when I get to it. I don't know where it is, it's somewhere in this stuff. So when I get to it, I'll show you, but this is just the extra one. So this is a pack of 300. And from Dollar Tree, I just got some measuring cups. And this is just for her food. Um, I didn't want to use the measuring cups I already have for human food. So I'm going to use this to put in her dog food and then just scoop it up. Um, I think she only right now gets half of food a day because she's so little. This comes with one cup, one half, one fourth, and one third. So yeah, I got that many just to measure out her food. And this was only a dollar, of course, at Dollar Tree. Next, I got this bin with her toys. It says dog toys on it. And I got this from Amazon. Um, it's just a little bin that I keep in her playpen um, with her toys in it, which I'll get to next. Um, but let me take them out first. Okay, so this is what the bin looks like. It's like at a little angle like this. So she can get in and out, but yeah, I just got this on Amazon. It was really cute and it goes perfectly inside her crate. Fits, fits perfect and fits her toys. So whatever toys I get her, then I just put them in here. So I'm going to re-put them in here as I go through them. So I got this little piggy and this is from Frisco. Um, and I got this from Chewy. It has a little squeaker. And it's just like textured. It looks like this. This is the kind of texture that it has. Um, but it just has the squeak ball in the middle and hopefully it's not like too thin or anything. It looks, it feels kind of thick, but I hope she can't like chew right through it. But yeah, it's just a cute little pink piggy. Then I got her this bunny from Amazon. It's kind of big, so it's probably going to be her size to be honest, um, when she comes, but it has like the little crinkle noises that sound like this. It also has a squeaker. And it has some squeakers on the feet too. So she'll have fun with this. I thought the she'll like the crinkly noise. She'll like the squeaker. So yeah, it's just kind of big. So it'll probably be like her snuggle buddy. And speaking of snuggle buddies, I actually got her the snuggle puppy. And this one had so many good reviews. Like I'm in the little Facebook group that I go on every day. And this is like one of the top recommended things to get to help with separation anxiety. So she's gonna be so young. She's only gonna be eight weeks. So it's gonna be her first time leaving her mom and her siblings. So this little snuggle puppy, you just put in the little heartbeat inside this little Velcro thing. And then you turn it on and you put the little heating pad, which is right here. So it feels like her mom. Um, so it'll be warm like her mom and have the, a similar heartbeat to a dog's parent. So it should comfort her as she leaves the nest. Then I got her some little teething toys. So this came in like a pack of four. So this is what they look like. And I got them from Amazon. Um, this one is like a little monkey with a rope tail. And it's kind of textured. Is it textured? Yeah, you can see like how it's a little bit textured. And then I got this one that has the little ridges on it. Also has a rope end. And yeah, it's just good for her while she's teething, which she will be. I'm pretty sure like this week or starting next week. So yeah, this one also has little ridges on it, bones and rope endings. And so does this one. So it's just like a little pack of four. And I don't know what toy she's going to like. So I kind of got her a little bit of everything and I got her the little puppy Kongs um, a blue one and a pink one they're really small they're like this big they're like the little puppy size um, and all you do is put treats or peanut butter or something in them and it keeps them occupied for a while while you're busy and can't tend to them give them attention so all you do is put the treats in there and they just 
sit there work through it to try to get the treats or the gummies or the whatever thing whatever you put in here to keep them entertained while you can't tend to their needs or give them attention all right moving on is her food and i got her this nutrisource small puppy breed small and medium puppy breed um this is the food that she's on with the with the breeder right now so i'm not gonna switch her off just yet i'm gonna let her eat the foods see if she even likes it and then i'll transition her later um later on but this one is actually pretty good it's called a super premium pet food and it has it says it supports gut health, supports skin and coat, supports odor control, supports brain function, has balanced omega-3 and 6 with DHA, probiotics and prebiotics, and it's easy to eat because it's in smaller bites. So yeah, it's for dogs that mature for less than 50 pounds. And Layla will only be like 15 to 20 pounds according to the breeder, but she could be bigger or smaller depending because you just never know. But yeah, this is the Nutrisource. This is what it looks like up close. The bag is kind of heavy, but when I open it, I will be putting it in her container that I showed you guys already. And on to the next thing is her little crate or her kennel. And this is what it looks like. It's white and gold only because I spray painted it that way. It was actually kind of ugly. At first it was like tan and like a navy blue and I just didn't like it. So I spray painted it white and gold. And so this is what it looks like. It just has this little handle and you just push it in and it just locks it. So she can't get out or anything, but this, I'm not using it for discipline or anything. This is what I'm gonna be using to crate train her. Um, this is what it looks like from the side and from the front. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be trying to crate train her. So she'll be, I'll be putting her treats, her meals, um, and when she goes to sleep, I'll put her in here. And this will be like her little safe place. So it'll be her own spot, like a little den. Because dogs are den animals, so they like to be in their own little spaces. So hopefully I'll get her used to liking this area, and then she'll want to be in it. And opening it up, I do have this little crepe mat that I put in here. And it's just a mocha color, it's really soft. This is like the texture of it. So yeah, just to make her stay in here more comfortable and make it a place that she'll actually wanna be in. Okay. Okay, the next thing that I have is her little dog balls. It has her name on it, it says Layla. Um, but I actually got this order, I mean, made for her from somebody on Etsy and her name is Tina. I can't remember her Etsy shop name, but I will put it in the description box or put it on the screen here. Um, it just came with these two ceramic bowls and a little stand. So it wasn't just flat, so her back won't be affected. But yeah, I just got this color in sandstone. I did pick this color. She has a bunch of different colors that you can get. Um, and it, she just made the stand and the bowls. So not the bowls, but she made the stand and it came with the bowls. And coming up next is her backpack, which I got from Amazon. It was just so cute. I just love the color of it. Um, it's like a mint green and my room is also mint green. So I got this bag. And it actually has a little poop poop bag stand with some poop bags in it from Clearly Love Pets, which is where I got her playpen. Um, so they just sent this with it. So that was really nice of them. But yeah, this is her travel bag. So if I need to take her anywhere, take her on a hike or to somebody's house or daycare, grooming, whatever, this is her little bag, her to-go bag. So I'm just gonna show you what I have in it because I do have stuff in it already. So this front pocket right here, has her leash which is which looks like this it's like a white and royal blue floral it's super cute i got this from urbanpup.com and i also got the little harness to match oh sorry 
Here's the harness. I think it's adjustable. Hopefully it fits because if not, then I'm going to need to go get a smaller one. Um, but yeah, it looks like it's adjustable. So that's good. And this is what it looks like together. And it actually comes with a bandana, which is not in here. <laughs> I also have a black one with rose gold on it because her tag is rose gold. So yeah that will probably be what i use most of the time and then here is her collar it's like a it's the matching one for this it's black velvet and it has her name on it which is layla i don't know if you guys can see that but yeah her name is layla and yeah i got two matching things i just need my other harness that is being ordered from my pupper to come to go with this and the bandana to go with this so yeah that was in the front pocket and then I have another toy this is like her bag that I'm taking when I go pick her up so it's already packed but this is a, like a little dragonfly and it has a little crinkle noise in the wings and it has like a little squeaker <coughs> Um, in the little head area but it's so cute and it's so small and I wanted to get her something that she could like walk around with so yeah I'm keeping this in her bag I actually forgot I got this but this is so cute next thing out of her bag is her blanket and this is what the blanket looks like I got this from Amazon I also got this from Amazon and I also got this from Amazon <laughs> So all of this stuff is a lot from Amazon, but yes, this is her puppy blanket. This is what I'm gonna use when I pick her up. So it'll have our scent on it and everything um, so she can get used to it. And it's just like a really soft blanket. So this will just be for her. Next thing pulling out of the bag is her grooming wipes. So I'm kind of like a clean freak. And I need her to be clean when she gets here. And every time we go on a walk, I have to wipe her paws. So she's not bringing in bacteria and germs into the house. So I got her these grooming wipes. It's a pack of 100. So, and this is the by the brand Pogies. And they're fragrance free, earth friendly, hypoallergenic and bamboo based. So this is what they look like. So yeah, I got that. And then next thing is pulling I'm pulling out is actually her bandana. So this is the bandana that goes around her neck. It's actually a clip just like the harness. Like this. It's also adjustable and it just matches the leash and the harness. Next, I'm pulling out her travel bowls. So I got these travel bowls that are kind of together. So if we go on a walk or if we go traveling somewhere, it just pops out like this. I can put her food or water um, in either one. And it's just good to have on the go. The next thing I got is her premium pet anti-itch deodorant spray and this is just what i'll use if she starts to stink in between baths but it's not time for a bath yet and this is um all natural oatmeal and baking soda it says it's soothing relief for dry itchy skin all natural safe and great for pets with allergies portion of sales is donated to pets with cancer so yeah and I also have the matching shampoo and also says the same thing on that bottle. So yes, all natural products, super good. Um, so I'll be using that in between baths for her. Then I'm pulling out her car seats. So this part just is like this and this will attach to the back of her harness. And this part just goes into the seat belt just so she can be safe and secure while we're in the car then i got her little clicker for training purposes sounds like this so when she does something good as soon as she does it you click the button and then you say good girl good girl 
so yeah she'll know that she's being or she has some positive reinforcement by using this so that clicker is a good sound for them then I got a mini little brush. I actually got a pack of three, but I only have one in her travel bag. Um, this is just the Wet n Wild brush for wet hair. Um, detangling brush, stuff like that. I do have a, a slicker brush to for after baths and stuff, but this is just like an on the go, like she gets a mat or something. And here is the Earth Rated Poop bag so, that I was talking about earlier. Um, so this is just what will go on her leash or something. Um, I might get a different color because this is green and I kind of want white just to match everything. I'm being right, real anal about that. But yeah, it has poop bags in it and you just pull them out like so. But if I don't want to carry it like actually on her leash, then I just have it in her shovel bag. And the last thing in her bag is this Musher's Secret and that's what it's called and this is just paw butter so you put it on the bottom of their paws so they don't get extra dry or cracked or start to bleed um and this is just paw protection and you do this before um like walking them when it's super hot outside or when it's super cold or they're going in the snow or something so it can protect the bottom of their little paws And the last thing that I have in her travel bag is these puppy teething rings. And yeah, they're just chicken flavored. Um, they look like this. I got these on Amazon. Um, the ingredients are rice, flour, gelatin, vegetable, glycerin, water, chicken, natural chicken flavor, so on and so forth. So it's really good for them. Um, and this will just help with teething. So yeah, I got some a treat that will also help with teething and it's in chicken flavor, so I'm sure she'll like it. Okay, so I only got like a little few things, like literally three things from Petco. Um, so in her Petco bag, which I went there today, I just got her little tennis ball, something that's little um, that she can actually play with that's not too big for her and I only got this for this was only like a dollar or two at Petco so I just got that and then I got her this slicker brush looks like this and you just push the button when you want to release or yeah release all the fur that got stuck in the brush it's self-cleaning so that's what it looks like and up close that's how the brush gets cleaned so yeah this was highly recommended in the Cavapoo what to get. So I got that. And I got her just a little cute little Kong toy. And it's actually a knot, the knot version. So it's made with rope inside. So it's like not just stuffing. And it's not that hard or that easy for her to just tear up. So I got this. And this is just something that's small enough for her to carry around. But big enough like to play with so yeah i got this and it's so cute it's the light brown one they also had like a light gray one and a dark brown one but i just thought this one was the cutest so i got that okay so the last items are all in her supply bucket and i got this bucket off amazon as well so whole bucket is from amazon but everything in it is from some other places and amazon so let's get started so the first thing i'm pulling out of her bucket is this other bucket and i actually got this whole container from amazon and i'm just holding her greenies dental chews in here so this is what they look like um so she won't be able to eat a whole one probably so i'm going to break them up in little pieces and it just opens you just push this button and then it looks like this and then you take it off and then it keeps them nice and fresh so yeah they're still like they're soft enough to bend but they're not like super breakable so yeah they're pretty sturdy and this is keeping them airtight and fresh okay, so other treats that i have is these 
Zook's mini training treats. And they look like this. And this is, which flavor is this? This is the chicken flavor. So they're just these little treats. They look, they're like this small. And these are just good for training. So you can also break them. Um, so they're just last a while. And I also got another one in the peanut butter flavor, peanut butter and oat flavor. So yeah, I got these two training treats next just for like be good treats like just because treats i got these pepperoni pepperoni treats in the bacon flavor and i just think that she'll like them i mean like who doesn't like bacon and she's a dog so i think she'll really enjoy these um they're not the healthiest but you know not everybody likes to eat healthy all the time <laughs> so i got these for her and I think she'll really like them. Um, this is just like a just because treat. You're doing good treat. Um, so yeah, these are not for training. These are just for when I feel like she needs something good to eat. So yeah, judge me if you want to. Next thing I'm pulling out of here is her bully sticks. And I got the natural dog chew ones. Um, this is supposed to be limited odor because I heard bully sticks really stink. So, um, these are supposed to be non-odor or odorless or something, but we'll see. I haven't opened the bag yet, so I haven't even had a chance to smell them or anything, but it says it's good for dental health. They're long lasting, a training reward. Dogs love them and they're a rawhide alternative. So yeah, I got her these bully sticks and I got these on Amazon and it doesn't even say how much is in here. It doesn't say how much is in here, but it says um, there's only one ingredient. So yeah, it's beef flavored, one ingredient. So yeah, it's just a natural chew. And that's also supposed to keep them busy for a while. Okay, next is this puppy bag. And my dad actually got this for Layla. So this is just a few, a couple things that my dad got for her. And this was the puppy bones and these are in the bacon flavor and these are called Benna bone. Um, they're dental chew, good for her while she's teething. They help cleaning the teeth and it's bacon flavor. So I think she'll really like it. I don't smell any bacon on it, but apparently it's supposed to be made with it. So it's good and it says it's good for puppies under 15 pounds. So. I think she'll like this one. And this is probably gonna be one of the first things that I give her. And then my dad also got her a waterproof pad. And I think I'm gonna use this one in my car. Um, so this is what it looks like up close. And I'm just gonna put this probably on the back of my car for when she is in my car. Um, it's waterproof. Um, has an absorbent layer for leaks and messes. It's machine washable and yeah. So yeah, this is really nice. It actually matches the seats in my car. So I think that's where I am gonna put it. Cause I, I do have the puppy pads and I actually have, I have other pads that are like this already that's in her playpen, which I'll show you in a second. So yeah, this is really useful, but this will probably be for my car. Whew, I'm still not done talking. So you know I got her a lot of stuff. So we're still on stuff that's in here. So pulling up, the next thing I got her is this little mud buster thing. So this is for like extra dirty walks. So all you do is put soap and water in here and it's like silicone that massages the paws and it also removes all the dirt and debris, snow, mud, anything like that. So I got that and it's just really good. This is what the bristles look like. I'm supposed to give your puppy like a little massage while um, cleaning their paws of all the disgustingness that will be on like an extra dirty walk. So yep, yeah, got this. I'll probably put this in her travel bag as well. 
Okay, next things I'm pulling out is the other two brushes. Nothing crazy, but I told you it came in a pack of three, so these are the other two. The other one was purple and it's in her travel bag. Oh, uh, this box just had her black collar and leash. Um, I actually got two um, because the first one was actually shipped to the wrong address, which was in the building next to me, but um, I found it. So now I just have this one. Packaging is still on it. So if any of you guys want it, um, it's the black leash and collar with the rose gold end. Um, so if you guys want it, then just let me know in the comments below and I'll pick one of you to have it and I'll send it to you. Next, I'm pulling out the pee cleaner, poop cleaner, whatever, accident cleaner. And this is supposed to be an enzyme cleaner. It's by Rocco and Roxy. And I got this on Amazon. And it's supposed to completely remove the urine and an enzyme cleaner is super necessary because it removes the smell. Um, so if your pet just pees and you just clean it up with a regular cleaner that doesn't have enzyme in it, then it's just going to smell the same area and continue to pee in that area. So this just cleans the area and the smell up so they're not able to smell it anymore. So yeah, I got this. It's supposed to be useful, so hopefully I don't have to deal with too many accidents. I mean, she has a fresh pad, she has puppy pads, she has her pads and her play pen. Like, I really hope I don't have to deal with that, but she's a baby. So if I do, I have the cleaner to clean it up. Okay, next thing I'm pulling out is her shampoo. And this is the same premium pet oatmeal shampoo from Pets Are Pets Are Kit pets are kids too um same thing um stops itching while naturally deodorizing smooths and moisturize for a soft shiny coat portion of sales donated to pets with cancer so yes this is um what i got the matching deodorant sprays in her travel bag i showed that to you guys already so i got that um just because it went together so if i use them together it'll just make her smell uh really good and i actually think this has the yeah i can't smell it because it has the little thing on it which is good not complaining about that so yeah but it's supposed to be really good together so i got them both even though i already had a shampoo which getting to right now so this is the nature's miracle skin and coat supreme odor control for puppies shampoo and conditioner so i had this already and yeah i just got the other one so now i have two shampoos and i actually can smell this one and it smells really good it's called spring water scent so it smells clean so i really like it next i am pulling out her pet md ear wipes looks like this and this is just to clean out her ears from any gunk debris um, earwax and stuff just keep them clean and it has aloe vera and eucalyptus and it's for dogs obviously um you're supposed to be cleaning your dog's ears if they especially if they're floppy which hers will be um so yes i got her the wipes i am probably gonna switch to like the little droplet cleaner um after i run out of this but this is what i have for now so this is what i'm gonna be using Next, I have her toothbrush, toothpaste, and her little finger brush, which is at the bottom. So this is what the finger brush looks like at the bottom, and then it has two heads for the toothbrush and her toothpaste. And this is by, by Verbeck, I think. Um, it's called CET Home Digital Care. And I got this on Chewy. Let me show you what else I got on Chewy. This came from Chewy. This came from Chewy. This came from Chewy. And I can't remember what else. Oh yeah, some of her toys came, which I already showed you. Um, and yeah. Okay. Next I have her her towel microfiber, good for her fur for after baths and stuff. I actually have a microfiber towel for my own hair, so 
I think it does, it is beneficial. So I did just get another one for her. So this is her towel, just hers, like, yeah. And I have this little combing glove. This actually came with something. I can't remember what it came with, but one of these items um, it actually came with. So now I just put this glove on and I can just brush her and pet her at the same time and it'll feel like a little massage for her. But yeah, I can't remember what exactly this came from, but it was something from Amazon and yeah. It might've been this little pad. Oh yeah, I think it was this pad. So this is her extra pad. The other one that I'm using is already in her playpen. So it just has the little paw prints on it. And it is a pee pad, just a bigger pee pad, waterproof. Um, and I have it on the floor in her playpen. Um, I think it's 48 by 48. And this is just the extra one. So if she has an accident in her playpen on that pad, then I can wash that one and put this one on. So yeah, that's why I have that. Last but not least from this is her bell. She has her little bell right here. This is her training bell. This is her pee bell. Um, the extra one is actually already by the back door. Um, so she can use, go out on the fresh patch when I get it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to train her to bring this bell to ask to go outside to potty. So wish me luck on that i've seen some good stories about it on facebook from other cavapoo owners but i've also seen some not so good ones so hopefully my dog is on the good side but yeah i just got it see if it works if it doesn't then we can try something else okay the next thing that i'm going to show you guys i know it just got super up close um but yeah the last thing i'm going to show you is her playpen and her little yeah just her little area and this is like her special little corner that's in my house. So I had to get up to show you, but this is her little playpen area. Um, this is what it looks like from the corner because here's the TV. And then this is what it looks like. It's like a clear pen. It was actually really expensive. Um, I got it from Clearly, Clearly Love Pets and I got it in the size medium, which is 48 by 48. And I got the extra bump out so she can have a little more space. And then I got her her little TP with her tag that says Layla on it in chalk. And the, her pet bed is actually from Amazon as well. So yeah, this is her little area and I'm super obsessed with it. This is everything that I just talked about. So you can see she's a little spoiled little baby. And her food's on my couch right here. But yeah, there's also one thing I also want to show you guys. Okay, so last thing I want to show you guys is her how I puppy proofed the balcony for her. So let me walk over there. If I can get around all this stuff. Oh my god. Okay, so on the balcony, if you guys can see, I have this little mesh screen just so she can't get in between the little bars um, and hurt herself. And that little black pad over there is where her fresh patch patch of grass is gonna go when it gets here um so yeah that's just kind of what the area is looking like just so it's puppy proofed and then by the floor i do have her little bell right here so yeah that's what i got for layla she's gonna be my little bundle of joy she's my baby i'm gonna be a mommy now to a dog a dog mom i'm so excited i get her in five days um and you can see how much i already love her i got her all this stuff already so yeah she's gonna be my little bundle of joy and yeah if you guys enjoyed this video um let me know in the comment section below and i will let you guys meet her when i get her oh yeah the reason i got her um was from quarantine i don't care what you say i don't have to answer to any one of y'all but yes i did get her um purposely through quarantine um i didn't just get her without thinking i mean 
it was kind of a rush decision but i did already plan on getting a dog next summer so i just got her a summer early um so yeah i already had a savings account set up for a puppy i was just gonna wait till next year but since quarantine happened we're stuck in the house like i have time to train and everything i decided to just get her this year and she's gonna be my little baby so that's all i have to say about that that's all y'all should need to know but yes i'm gonna love her and i'm so excited so yeah if you enjoyed this video if you like hauls if you like puppies then give this video a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see her when i get her because i'm gonna do a whole video dedicated to her of course and then yeah i'll see y'all probably around that time so i'll see you guys in my next video and have a blessed day love you